Hey guys, this is Waluigi Walkthroughs, here for a new walkthrough, and if you can't already tell what it is, then shame on you. <laughs> it is Kirby's Hello? Epic Yarn. Oh boy, that was really shrill. <laughs> Alright, um, on Super Mario Galaxy 2 walkthrough, um, I've been having some technical issues with sound recording, so... I was thinking that I was just going to stop with the Super Mario Galaxy 2 walkthrough until I could solve the sound problem by getting some new equipment or such. And I've been thinking, in the meantime, why not try a different walkthrough and see how the sound works with that equipment. And I came upon that Kirby's Epic Yarn was a very, very good game in order to do this without having some sound issues. So, without further ado, let's start this. Uh, maybe if I hold my Wii Remote in the <laughs> proper direction. Um, I tried File 1 for like 7 minutes to see how the sound would be if I recorded it, and it's working perfectly. So, no worries there. So, let's start with File 2. Yes. Um, I've been actually pretty happy so far with this game. Um, anyway, I'll be quiet right now. Welcome to Dreamland, a kingdom famous for peace and quiet. It's the perfect little land, if you like that sort of thing. Lately, there have been rumors of a caped sorcerer going around turning people into yarn. That's right, yarn. Oh my goodness. <laughs> One day, Kirby saw his favorite food, a bright red tomato on top of a bush. Down the hatch, but when Kirby tried to eat it, a cape sorcerer appeared. My name is... Hey, what are you doing? Stop that! No, that's my magic metamato. Kirby Not anymore. Kirby the metamato <laughs> right down. Just then, a white sock around the sorcerer's neck began to glow. Then it sucked Kirby up. Oh no! All right. <laughs> Light story right here. Definitely. This grass feels funny, Kirby thought. It feels like pants. And to Kirby's surprise, he saw that his entire body was made out of yarn. Then he saw a yarn monster chasing a blue yarn boy. Somebody help me! Kirby tried to swallow the monster up. But the air went right through his body. It's actually pretty clever. Kirby wondered what he should do. Oh no, it's a car! Suddenly, Kirby transformed into a car. He drove away with the boy and left the monster behind to eat his dust. Apparently, that strange metamato gave Kirby the power to seamlessly transform into a car and who knows what else. Who knows? Exactly. So, actually, I've been pretty happy with this game. I've been trying to decide which game I would buy, a very recent game, I mean, and do a walkthrough of it. And this game actually came to mind pretty quickly, and it, it's actually a very good game. I'm really happy with my buy, my purchase. So thanks for saving me. What's that? You say you're from another world? Wow, welcome to Patchland. You just stick with me and I'll show you the ropes. Okay. I also really like how the art direction of this game is, like what it is, like everything is made out of yarn or fabric, and how that fabric like correlates to certain things that you do in the game, like jumping, you become like a spring. I'll talk more about it later. This is my castle, so feel free to look around here as much as you want. So this game is all pretty much blind to me, and I think that's probably like, the best way to do it, not knowing anything else, but just what you already, what you can pretty much guess from here. Alright, so jump is a 2 button, and you see how like Kirby's feet turn into springs? That's really cool. If you press 2 and hold it again, you become a parachute. And all that yarn is like, that just makes up his entire body. Um, to turn to a car, just press really quick on left, and this is like, the, um, press the side, um, buttons quickly to, twice to go into car mode. This is actually the one thing I don't really like about the controls, because it's kind of hard to get into the car mode to begin with. But once you're in, it's pretty easy to just stay in there. Um, to do the whip thing, press 1. Directional-wise, you can do that. And when you're moving, um, to enter doors, just press up. 
So, this entire game can actually play two-player co-op throughout the entire game, and I really like that idea because I loved New Super Mario Bros. Wii, where everything was, um, could all be co-op. Well, anyway, um, you can't die in this game, actually. You just lose all of your beads, and beads is like Zelda rupees, I guess. Anyway, we can grab these blocks, and if you hold one, you can just, um, collect them. Oh, I destroyed an enemy. Oh, Waddle Dee. Um, you can also just press one once, and you can just get rid of it. The yarn. It's a pretty cool idea. And I can just do that. Or here, for instance, I can just hold one, and like I said, I can just make it into a ball of yarn. And I can toss it and destroy that. Um, up here, those little crystal things, I don't know actually how many points those um, beads are worth. Oh boy. It's just, oh, nothing in there. Wait for one more drop of water, <laughs> I guess. Come down. Okay, now we can go collect this. But, um, there are three different levels of beads of collecting here. I mean, what I mean is, um, you can earn a bronze medal for collecting a certain amount of beads, or you can earn a gold, silver, whatever. Um, to swim, like it's a, it shows you, um, press 2 to swim faster, and press 2 and direction to swim in any direction faster. And that becomes like a little submarine for Kirby. Anyway. Um, I really like how this game is so far progressing. Um, I think these are... Um, I think those, like, de depict, like, what exactly you're gonna get at the end of the level. I'm not entirely sure, but anyway. Yay! Okay. <laughs> this game is just too cute, actually. Okay, this is one of the first prizes that we can win in each level. There are three prizes in each level. This chandelier is very simple and very elegant. You can go wrong. You can't go wrong here. <laughs> you can go wrong here. Oh, no. Get off. Alright. Um, let's go faster. Press up, we can get into this little nook here. Yeah, but like I was saying, I really like how this game progresses you through with like those little videos and how exactly everything works. And the music is actually surprisingly very nice. I really like how it's very ambient and very peaceful. It's really nice music. It's not a lot of bombastic and heavy epic quote-unquote music that a lot of people want nowadays. I really like the art direction and music direction for this game. Anyway, here, um, press 1 and we can change the environment with fabric. Cool nifty little thing. Um, here we can do bell. And we just hold on to it. And... Ah, oh, missed it. Alright, there we go. And we can get here the king's throne. You feel like a king when you sit on this gold-plated throne. All right. Down we go. Yeah, I've already played this level. This is the only level I've actually played, so don't worry that I'm... Like, doing this non-blind. This is the only thing that's not blind about this walkthrough. Anyway, these are Waddle Dees, and you can just easily get rid of them just by, the, yeah, just getting rid of their yarn, whatever. And here we're at the end of the level, so what we need to do is we want to get the three stars. No, I'm not going to get it. Oh, well, I got two stars. That's not bad. And I'm really glad in this Kirby game they brought back these little cool in-your-face dances. <laughs> it's just showing off what... I mean, what Kirby can do. Anyway, we got gold star. I mean, gold medal. Our largest streak was 103. That's pretty good. And we got all three treasures. That's 300 beads. So we pretty much completed this level entirely. I mean, this level right here. Anyway, let's watch this cutscene. Thanks for your help, the blue yarn boy said. Not that I needed it. Really? <laughs> I'm Prince Fluff. Ever since Yin Yarn the Sorcerer ripped Patchland into seven pieces, you just can't go anywhere without running into these horrible... But Fluff was interrupted when they were attacked by a huge three-eyed blob of yarn. Oh, no. Ew! Gross! Stop it! But before the blob could eat Prince Fluff... 
Kirby transformed and smashed it to smithereens in a most spectacular fashion. Yeah, Kirby's angry. Among the little blob bits, there was a shimmering piece of spiraling yarn. That's it. That's the magic yarn, Fluff exclaimed. This was what Prince Fluff had been looking for. Yin Yarn had stolen the magic yarn from Patchland. No. This is a really cool concept. I really like how this game is structured. It's really nice. Good job, Nintendo. And well, I can't remember the name of the, into the studio that developed the this game. And stitch two pieces of Patchland together. What about the other pieces? I've got to find the rest of them. Kirby, always happy to help, decided to help his friend recover the missing oh, pieces. Oh, come on. And the two Seriously, began do we need an airplane going out here? Hope that's not audible in the sound recording. I mean, this really loud plain sound from where I'm sitting. All right. And this unlocks Grasslands, woo! I wonder what that's gonna look like. Anyway, save me progress. Um. Oh, something up here. Touch Plaza. So down here we can uh, get rid of these things. But anyway, um, let's head over here because there's nothing else we can do in this place. And this triggers another cutscene. Prince Fluff. Oh, it's, oh, I guess it's not a cutscene. Prince, Prince Fluff, what an unexpected surprise. Oh, and who might your friend here be? Or who, Lord Kirby, you say? I'm a pirate. Uh, he is visiting us from another world, you say? How exciting. My name is Dom Wool. Dom Wool. And it is my pleasure to make your acquaintance. Oh, Wool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, that joke is not that apparent. I clearly couldn't get it that quickly. <laughs> oh, man. I'm tired today. Lord Kirby is helping you save our beloved Patchland. Oh, that's just wonderful. I am a, I am the manager of Quilty Court here. Please come inside for a moment. I insist. Whatever you say, buddy. Whatever you say. So, um, those little treasures that we've collected, uh, I guess they're supposed to help us furnish these apartments. Welcome to your new home, hee <laughs> hee. Well, I suppose there's not much to look at just yet, but I would be honored to have one of our Prince Fluff's guests in here. Oh, we got a chair. A proper home must be properly furnished. Please accept this as a gift from me. Feel free to furnish your new place in whatever way you desire. So, I guess there is a bit of some RPG elements in here, determining your own home and style. <laughs> the Sims! Yarn edition. We'll discuss the rent later. Oh, I have to pay rent? Go ahead and enjoy the space. If you have any questions, I'll be around. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I hear one of my other tenants walking by outside. Alright, so we have a home. Change layout. Open the menu, choose change layout to redo your room however you want. You can also point the Wii remote at the TV and press A to change the layout. Uh, how do I open the menu? Okay, there we go. Alright. Um, place. place item. You can choose which furniture to place with A. Items you haven't found yet will be grayed out. Oh, I see. Well, anyway, let's put a nice chandelier up there. Oh, I can. I guess I can put put away. I guess I can put twenty four items in. You can also put items away. Select the item, then put select the put away icon up. Items you put away will revert to their default settings. Okay. You can also copy items. All right. Select the copy and then select the item you wish to copy by pressing A. All right. Got that. So where's my remote? Okay, there it is. Repolster. Re-upholster. Oh my gosh. I can't read today. You can also re-upholster some furniture items with fabrics you found. See if you can re-upholster an item by selecting it and then selecting the re-upholster icon. Okay, whatever. And wallpaper. You can also put fabric on the walls or floor. Customize your room. Alright. 
Well, I clearly have nothing. 